welcome to episode two of my Great Central Railway series on the reunification of the two Great Central Heritage Lines. Episode one, we started at Quorn and Woodhouse Station, just up from Loughborough, and we had a, just a little short ride on the Great Central Railway, the southern one, the, um, the proper Great Central Railway, I'll call it. No disrespect to the, uh, the north, uh, Great Central North or Great Central Nottingham as I think it's known, isn't it? So in this episode, I'm just gonna be having a look at just going in that direction. Um, you'll see some sidings here, some trains parked up, and there's a shed just down there. We'll go and have a look. Um, we're gonna have a look down there in a moment. So straight after leaving Loughborough, Loughborough Central Station, Great Central Station, and this is the, the head shunt and the engine shed at Loughborough but obviously this is going to be a through line once the reunification is completed just come up onto the bridge for another vantage point looking south towards Loughborough. See the signal box there? Bit of a better view from up here, isn't it? And then looking north. I can't actually see over this wall, so I'm just looking through the camera there. Is that tornado just in the shed? I can just see a, a tender at the back. I, I don't know, I just I saw on Facebook that tornado arrived last week. Reason I fetched you up here, sorry, I'm getting distracted by by the trains just packed outside the shed by the locomotives. Um, that's where the railway line needs to be going. Um, as you can see that there's a, there's a shed in the way. So they're gonna have to be doing something with that shed, aren't they? See down the side of it and the, the canal bridge isn't far just past the end of the shed. We'll go down and have a look at that. Wow, look at that whopper of a telegraph pole there. Wow. That's probably the biggest one, the tallest one I've ever seen. How many arms we got there? So here's the first point that we've come to see on this episode. And you'll notice the carriages there. That's how close we are to the end of that, of the yard where the sheds, I'm assuming, well, there's no assuming about it. They've got to do that. They've got to take down their shed there to bring the line through they go round, I don't know. Um, so yeah, the canal bridge of the Grand Union Canal. Not a new bridge, this one. Although it does look new, doesn't it? It's had a lick of paint. Double track up there, bridge 37 on the canal. So work for this bridge started in 2018, December 2018 to be precise. And it completed just, literally just weeks before COVID hit. So the lattice sides, I understand, were taken away to be refurbished and then some repair work done on the spans, double span. This is an old mill, isn't it? So I don't know if this is the same in this location, but uh, we've seen it in other locations. Is it? As soon as Disuse Railway is closed, especially the GCR, they set, they set about um, dismantling track beds, embankments, bridges, as soon as, uh, as soon as possible. I don't know if it's to prevent them from ever reopening or prevent any competitors using them or something I'm not sure but that seems to be the case here because just behind this building ambling randomly around the back streets of Loughborough here because we've got the next part that needs to be done after that canal bridge it used to be an embankment 
just running over the north of the town, up towards the middle and where it crosses the Midland Railway. That embankment's gone. It's, it's, uh, it's been removed completely. But look here, railway terrace. We've still got a blue brick abutment from where the railway line went over here. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look, there's nothing, is there? There's nothing at this side. So, I think the original plans, they got some bridge decking from, uh, from <coughs> excuse me, when they dismantled the old Reading uh, railway station. Okay, I don't think that's the alignment of the railway. It doesn't line up with, with that. Um, but just take a look at the plans that they've got now to get over this section, this, this viaduct. It's not the prettiest, um, but I think it's the most practical way that they found a bridge in this little section. So the canal bridge is only just out of sight there. If I show you the drone shots, it's not far at all. But let me just swing you around here because if I can get a good shot, I don't know if I can get close to this. So can you see there just towering above? Just to give you an idea, that is the height of the Great Central Railway, that bridge span. And that's the bridge span that was put in over the top of the Midland Railway. So that's the active, that's better look, a bit more open. That's the active railway line, Midland main line to London. Next stop on here for those express trains would be Leicester. So that's two bridges that we've seen now. Um, that one, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that was the first one that they did. And it's probably the biggest one. So they've, they've boxed off um, the most challenging thing to cross being, is it four tracks wide here? We'll go and have a look. Um, this one was put in, it started in late 2017 and completed in early 2018. So no messing around there, was there? Well, that's 30 meters long, but let's, uh, let's go round the corner and see if we can get another view of that, of that bridge. And there is that bridge. It is four track, isn't it? I said four track. Just stands alone, just waiting to be connected now, doesn't it? Just uh, zip across here and just, just show you what's this side as well. Oop. That's all for a railway station just behind those trees. You can see the platform on this side. And then there's, look here, I see how it says, it's not old, it's current day. It's a brush factory. That's a better view of the station, isn't it? Look, you can see the, the older of the brush factories just in, in the background there. So brush, synonymous with the railways, isn't it, that name? So there's the embankment, just there, that's got tracks on that. We'll get to that in a moment, uh, on why it's got tracks on. Um, but look, there's another bridge just coming in, uh, into view here. Uh, and this is the third bridge that's been redone, and this is the latest project that's been completed. Just trying to get out of the, uh, out of the traffic and the, the traffic noise. Um, so, last year, no it wasn't last year, it was 20, yeah it was last year, 2023. We did a video of the M1, um, the Great Central Bridge over the M1, and it was the last bridge to be built on the Great Central Railway. The M1 opened not long. Um, if you see the video, you'll know what I mean. Now this bridge has taken, I suppose, has taken the mantle of the last, the newest bridge on the Great Central. And this was uh, replaced, the deckings were replaced on the original um, abutments last year. So this is the A60, it's a bridge over the A60. Now this, this, this bridge, I suppose technically, is part of the northern section because the thing we know about the Great Central Main Line was when it was built, it didn't, there wasn't many places where it connected to other lines that it crossed over. A lot of crossover points, not many connections. But here, at some stage, they put in a connection from the middle and main line, and that was so they could still access the MOD place up at Ruddington after this line closed. And that's why that line stayed open, and it also served the um, 
Oh, what was the place up near East Leek? Um, it's not the quarry, or is it the quarry? Well, I should know, we visited it two months ago. It's not like me to forget an important point, is it? Gypsum, that's it, it's the gypsum. Um, so that's why this, this part of the line, the MOD and the gypsum down at East League, that's why it survived and that's why it's here and that's why we've got this reunification project now. Yeah, so this has always had railway going over it and that's why we could see railway tracks from the road over there. Wow, looks like it's already had a bridge strike. And that's in what, a year and a half? Yeah. Brand new decks then. Shiny and new. So in the next episode, we'll be picking up this railway line, the Great Central Railway North or Great Central, Railway no uh, Great Central Railway Nottingham. Can't remember which way round it is. It's had a few name changes recently. Um, and we're picking up at Stamford on so, so is it Stanford? Sorry, not Stamford. Stanford on so Viaducts, which is only a stone throw. Stone's throw in that direction. And we did film that back in, in April, and I've been waiting to release those videos till I've come and filmed these bits at the Loughborough end. So that's three bridges that we've seen there's been work done on, and then we've seen what the, uh, the plans are to fill in the embankments um, in between them, haven't we? So it'll be great just to keep an eye on that work. And if I can give you an update video at some stage, I will do. But we'll do a bit of time traveling and we'll see you on the next video. Me and Jim, Stanford on Saw Viaduct. Take care, bye-bye.